Hey everyone, have you ever wanted to create images like this? Uh, maybe painting or drawing or even uh, doing it digitally. Maybe you've learned some Photoshop but could never get your images to get to this level. Well, the exciting thing that I found out recently is a program called Midjourney. And Midjourney is an AI image rendering program that can help you create these images just by typing in a few words. And so if this is something that interests you, uh, there will be a series that will go through step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how you can create images like these. This video is to help you get things started by signing on for Midjourney. So I will give those steps to you. Uh, let's get started. When you sign up for Midjourney, you will also need to create a Discord account. Fortunately, when you sign up for Midjourney, uh, you will automatically be led to signing up for a Discord account where you will create your username and password. For those of you who already have a Discord account, you will automatically be logged in after you sign on to Midjourney. Okay, in this next step, we will go to midjourney.com and you will be on the official page when you see this blue screen and the dancing uh, texts in the background. Here you're going to click on join the beta. After you click on join the beta, you will be led to the Discord website where you will create your username. Now if you already have a Discord account, you will want to click on the already have an account link right here underneath the continue button and there you'll be led to uh, a login page where you will input your uh, discord credentials your username and password but if you don't have a discord account please create a unique username here i will create a temporary username called mid journey beginner test so click continue and here you're led to a CAPTCHA page to verify that you're a you're human <laughs> and not a computer. So I'm going to click there and uh, just follow the instructions for the CAPTCHA. After you've selected your options, click Verify. And you will be led to the browser version of Discord. Now, here the next thing you'll need to do is uh, input your birthday. So for this example, I'm just going to choose January 1st, uh, 19, let's do 1981, 1981, January 1st, 1981, and click Done. This next window, you will input your email and password to create your Discord credentials. So here I'm going to start typing, here's my email, and then my password. Then you want to click Claim Account. And you have uh, created your account. Now the next thing you'd like to do is let me close this out. You want to get the desktop app. The reason for the click on the button, get the desktop app, it'll start the download process for the desktop app uh, if you're on a Mac or on a PC. The reason why you need the desktop app is because there are features on the desktop app which are not available on the browser uh, and you want to be able to maximize some of those features. One great example is to be able to delete images that you don't really need. So I'm going to click on get the desktop app right now and we will wait for it to download and go on to the next step. All right, so once Discord has finished uh, downloading, what we're going to do is within the browser, it should show up at the bottom. If it doesn't, you can check your downloads folder. Then you want to click on the exec file to start the installation process. Then this will take a couple of seconds to get the installation started. And you'll probably see an update. There we go. So the update, the update's going to install. And 
I believe it should go straight into the Discord program itself without any further uh, steps we need to perform. Let's see what it does here. Oh, it's asking us to log in. Okay, so uh, it may log you in directly. If not, then you'll have to uh, input your email and password here that you created during the initial setup of your Discord account. So I do believe it normally logs you in, but in this case, it uh, required me to input my username, uh, my email and password. So I've done that, and as you can see, we are now logged into the Discord server. And there, after you uh, have logged into Discord, there's actually one more step you want to perform. So you'll want to go to your email account that you use to register for Discord, and you want to verify your email. So on the email, click on verify. Once your email is verified, double click uh, continue to Discord, and you can click open up the Discord app. And once you click on that, it should, it should open up the app. But if it doesn't, you can always go down to the bar and open up the app. Oh, where is it? Uh, right here. Open up the Discord app, and your account is now verified. And once the Discord app has been opened, let's confirm that MidJourney was installed. Uh, the MidJourney server was installed on the Discord app. By going to the upper left, you will see a white circular icon with a sailing boat inside of it. That is the MidJourney server. And if we click on it, let's see here, let me click on it. Uh, there. Once you click on it, you are now inside the MidJourney server where you can begin uh, creating images, creating illustrations, creating drawings, uh, just by typing in a few words. Now, before we begin creating any images, uh, I would like to bring up the payment plans uh, for MidJourney. Now, the first 25, around the first 25 images that you create will be for free as a trial version. But those will move very quickly. You, um, I, when I did it for the first time, it took less than an hour for me to create 25 images. So I would be ready to purchase a monthly plan for MidJourney. It will be well worth it, especially if you love creating these images. To see the options for your monthly payment plan for MidJourney, you will need to go to midjourney.com slash app, A-P-P. There you'll be led to this page, to this MidJourney page. It uh, looks very similar to the original page that we started off on. Uh, here you will click sign in with Discord. And uh, you'll get this message, uh, just click authorize and you will be led to your mid-journey profile, um, profile page. Another way to do it is to actually go to the main mid-journey page, click sign in, and again another uh, external application is trying to access your Discord account. Let's authorize that. And as you can see it's a similar page. So this is your mid-journey profile page where as you build your mid-journey profile, you'll be spending a lot of time on this page. So, okay, on this page, you'll want to go down to the bottom left. And in this situation, my icon is a red and white Discord logo icon. You're going to click your profile icon, whatever it may be. Select Manage Plan. And you are given these uh, three options so the actually the first option is the 25 uh around 25 image uh image rendering uh for free trial version the next option is your basic membership which is for ten dollars a month with a limited use of up to 200 images per month 
Um, anything you, if you go over the 200 images, you will be incrementally billed after the limits. And you do get notification within Discord as you're creating your images uh, as to when you're getting close to reaching your limit. Now for me, after about two hours of playing around with uh, image creation, I received a message saying that I had nine images left before I would be billed for more. So at that point, I decided to uh, bump it up to the $30 per month uh, standard membership, which gives you unlimited personal use. Uh, there are asterisks here. So if you have any questions, you can go to this page, uh, midjourney.com slash account. Make sure you're logged into the account and you can go over the FAQs to have some of your uh, questions answered. The last option is the enterprise plan. So for those of you who want to create a corporate uh, membership and uh, it's uh, $600 uh, annual fee, it's an annual fee, yeah. Okay, I thought that was monthly, but <laughs> annual fee, that makes more sense. Okay, so $600 annual fee, you get a uh, single user unlimited plan private uh, by default image generation. So what that means is the community is uh, unable to see how you created your image. Uh, you have enterprise commercial terms as well as access to the member gallery. So this may be an option for those of you who uh, create images or are designers by profession. So those are your three options, $600 a year for the enterprise plan, $30 a month for the standard membership and $10 a month for the basic membership. Uh, try out the 25 free version, uh, the trial version first, and um, I'll leave it up to you if, which uh, plan meets your needs. So on to the next video. If you are ready and you have everything uh, set up, then let's go on to the next video where I, where I will share with you the basic steps on how to create your first image. All right, have a great day, everyone.